Now, when when's the last time have we seen Jamie Foxx do stand up? Very long time, okay? The Jamie Foxx show was pretty much like stand up. All right. Jamie Foxx, the people say that he is becoming more and more unrelatable to the audience that first bought into him. And now he's coming out with this stand up special. And guess who is the butt end of his joke? Right now, for those of you who follow me on my channel, The Did Not Show, I told the story about Jamie Foxx pulling up to a, a plaza where my friend works. OK, pulling up to a plaza where my friend works in Malibu. And asking Jamie Foxx what was wrong with him. And he acted like he was out of it and delusional and everything. And said that he was in a coma. But Jamie Foxx is claiming Diddy pretty much slipped him something that gave him a stroke. Now, we all know and we have all speculated from Tissa Tell, All these other people have been saying that this narrative is true. And that this is what happened for months. And now Jamie Foxx has a Netflix special coming out to substantiate that narrative, okay? Now, at the same time, you know, this could be true. It came from Jamie Foxx's mouth, according to this Netflix special that he's about to release. But on the flip side, you know, people said that he was supposed to be called as a witness in that Monday laundering case with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was a witness and Prize and all these other people. And suddenly he became not able to stay in trial. He's not able to be cross-questioned. We can't freeze the trial and reset it because Jamie Foxx is a potential witness. So people have speculated that then they came out with they clone Tyrone. And now Jamie Foxx is coming out saying that Diddy slipped him something. And I'm like, you as a grown man with your resources, your, I, I don't give a damn if it's a billionaire and I'm a millionaire. Nigga, we, we equal. You ain't finna do no shit to me or use your money, power, and influence over me. Y'all seen when Diddy started that gay shit, talking about men kissing on men, women kissing on women. Denzel got up out of there. So you play naked pickleball, naked basketball. Jamie Foxx is currently in the process of taping a Netflix comedy special in front of a live audience all across Los Angeles. And during the special, he talks about his stroke. I, uh, I wish I could have went to this. During Jamie's special, which is entitled, What Had Really Happened Was, Jamie explained what happened before, during, and after his stroke. Media takeout confirmed that Jamie tells fans Diddy was responsible for his stroke. According to Jamie, he was poisoned by the former bad boy music legend, and it wasn't quite a joke. Media takeout confirmed that while Jamie uttered those words, fans initially started laughing, but then Jamie looked directly at a fan and then gave him a look like, I'm not joking. So I would have to see this because, you know, like Cat Williams, the best thing to do is to make fun of your peers. And this is something that's this has been a running narrative that people are going to buy into. This is going to bring clicks and views to this special for Jamie Foxx to tell this joke. If you want me to believe this wasn't a joke just by a look that you gave a fan, then um, are you victim number three, number two, number four in the Diddy Freak Out tapes in the case? What, what's going on, man? We hear you playing the media. We hear you putting this out there on the blogs and shit so niggas can go and subscribe to Netflix and give up viewership so you can have a number one smash hit on Netflix. I mean, that's just me critically thinking, but I have to see this. Because they say you got you you pulled the Ashton Kutcher when it was time for him to be checked and go testify. Danny Masterson, Ashton Kutcher, all of a sudden he was blind. He was left temporarily blind and can't move his body. So they couldn't call him to trial. Then he go live, squint his eyes, look like a bat, act like he blind, advocate for Danny Masterson in the letter. You know, Jamie Foxx, they say he pulled the same trick. Say so he, he he went limp, went cold turkey. What, did you have a seizure? Because they say you was on set tripping balls and went to a fucking rehab for the goddamn ketamine, that pink cocaine that y'all do. Oh, no. And now you want to say Diddy slipped you something. You be having them parties too, Jamie. Let's be clear. Jamie Foxx and Diddy were friends for many years. Both men held raunchy parties at their lavish L.A. mansions. But Diddy is no longer friends with Jamie. Media takeout confirmed. The two men fell out a few years ago over a business deal gone bad. Jamie did not elaborate in the special about what Diddy to him with. He just made the comment, gave the fans a concerned look, and continued on with the comedy show. Child, please.
Child, you you better come out there acting like Wanda. You better come out there with your looks puckered up with a pink purse, wearing pink fur, because we know you was doing that pink cocaine too. But real talk, real talk. You know, on the contrary, Jamie could actually be telling the truth. Uh, Cam Capone News released his interview with Big Homie CC. Now, um, let me. I haven't. Now I got Big Homie CC phone. I'm in my phone. It's just. It's just like when so many narratives are flying out there, you just don't know who's telling the truth, who's not. But it's not a coincidence that he released this and put this out there for people to think about, saying that Diddy reported, Jamie Foxx reported Diddy to the FBI. This was released yesterday, and now this company special happened. So here it goes. Sir, I just want to say congratulations on 1 million views. By the time this hits, You'll have uh, one million views on the very first interview we did, and that's Let's just go. for one clip. It's like everybody want to be Jaguar, right? Everybody want to see how many views that they can get, how many people that they can convince that they're telling the truth and, and, and they're the person to listen to, uh, acting like they're not just a random person who probably shared the same ad as Diddy one twice, one time, two times, but somehow they're more important and they're more valuable than somebody just giving their commentary and an opinion about it since we're supposed to take this as opinion okay a full interview full interview let's go let's go that's what's up thanks for thanks for having me bro like if you the one took the interview first and got all this started bro i appreciate you yeah man yeah, no problem, man. I'm glad glad it worked out. Sounds so boring. Well, I think we'll just probably start off with the biggest stuff that's been going nigga, on. Man, he sounds like them cartoon man, dudes over there. Diddy has been arrested, man. He's arrested at a Manhattan hotel, and they're charging him with a lot of crimes, you know, a lot of serious crimes. He's looking at, you know, 15 years to life in prison, sex trafficking, you know, a, a lot of really nasty charges. You know, what was your first thoughts? when you first seen the news well my first thoughts was like kind of like vindication because to everybody who was on the comments in the first interview trying to say i was lying or embellishing everything i said proved to be facts everything that i laid out on the table chose was was shown to be facts and you know they didn't arrest him until he brought his private jet to New York. Because part of the agreement was, as long as his private jet was not in the same city and state as him. That's probably his agreement. Because probably his agreement was, as long as it... No. They already knew they was going to issue a warrant. That's why he went. He wanted to be able to turn himself in so he can post bail. But they said, nah, we're going to come and get you. And that fucked up his bail. No. He could stay on the street. Yeah, he's He brought that guy. private jet to New York. They see him out there taking pictures with little females on the street. This guy had a sucker in his mouth, man. In front of some young females. They came and got him. What's going on? Like, what's that about? What? That's I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And I've been saying it for years. But like now, it's out and open. And you see in the indictment. If they had the blonde hair, vampire sex workers in there, in the indictment, they got this man on camera, sexually assaulting a male sex worker on camera, man. I told y'all, I'm telling facts. Oh, no. Now, we touched yeah. on some of the stories from before, but a lot of them were just, you know, like Dwight Howard. You know, now, I mean, there's nothing really illegal about anything that you actually see. No, so he, he's like, he was the bodyguard for Diddy. First of all, let me be clear, like... He looked like Diddy type. He looked like Diddy type. Smash. He got all of this information. All of this tea and what he... And I told y'all, look, he, there's a video. So, like, you ain't no credible source, sir. You, you must be high with them glasses. You know, what are some of the things that you heard behind the scenes that were going on before this indictment actually dropped? Well, I know he poisoned Jamie Foxx, and Jamie Foxx reported him to the, to the FBI because of it. I know that's a fact. How? So, wait, you're saying that Diddy 
How? Like, I'd be like, oh, so how you know that for a fact? Did you have a conversation with Jamie? Oh, no, my friend, that friend, my friend that has another friend that has another friend that was invited because he got a second invite to go to the party, told my friend that told my other friend that told my other friend that told me. So Poison Jamie Foxx and that's how Jamie Foxx got sick? Jamie Foxx reported this man to the FBI because of this. Facts. Wow. Okay. And and how did you hear about this? If you can tell me, or if you can't, that's all good. But you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, people are gonna they're, they're gonna want to know. You know what I'm saying? How you know how, how this happened, or you know what I'm saying? What's the backstory to this? But by the time this drop, this is gonna be in the stratosphere. It's gonna be in the ether by the time this drop. You can probably look it up right now. But by the time this interview drop, this is gonna be out in the ether for sure. These people poison people, bro. I've been poisoned three times. Why am I testing positive for cyanide? You feel me? Why am I getting the, why do I have, I had pneumonia three times. Oh, so now so you like, man, why he breathe like that? Cause I only got one lung. And then okay. I had a car crash. I got one nostril permanently blocked. And I done had- Sir, we is not going to support your GoFundMe. We not. Lil Rod barely made any money off of it. He went about $20,000 and he started all this. Pneumonia three times. Somebody been trying to poison me. Oh my God. My, my, my brother got poisoned with me. The little lady I was bodyguarding, she got poisoned. Like somebody is, is Carrying on these antics, these are facts. Is there any idea why Diddy would want to poison Jamie, Jamie Fox? You get called to testify if you on camera and some of this footage, <laughs> and you want to make it a little bit. And this why this really this is exactly why Jamie Fox took this. No, Jamie Fox was supposed to get called to testify in, that, in the case with the dude from the Fugees. He pulled the Aston Kutcher when he was supposed to testify with Danny Masterson case. First, he had C now in the Hollywood Reaper case. You know, they they all easier for yourself. It's a, it's a way it's, it's ways in this industry oh, people go about doing things. Man is boring. Just know I tested positive for cyanide three times. Oh my goodness, cyanide! What? Drinking some bottles in the club. Once you get hit with the cyanide, it turns into pneumonia. I had it three times, so. He acting like he related to Legina Go. That idiot Jack Wright well, brought to the internet from TikTok saying she was a Lynn R. Kelly daughter.